I don't know what happened. Um, not happy. Really not happy. Missed the first shot. Missed the best shot. Bloody hell. So, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but that was just a massive wave came in. <laughs> and I got one shot, nearly got absolutely thrown. One shot, two shots, and three shots. Two photographs from today's shoot. Check out the rest of the video to learn a bit more and see exactly what went wrong for me today. Hi and welcome back to the channel. So uh, I just need to apologize before we go any further because the audio quality in this video is absolutely shocking. It really is incredibly bad. It's embarrassing. I said, look, I'll do this in a trial run. I'll just take it home, watch it, see how it all goes and then delete the blooming thing afterwards. Uh, but then there's like loads of little things happen to me today. So um, anyway, let's get into it and see what y'all think. So testing the audio here just to see how we get on. Driving along inside in the car, gonna switch off the car radio now. Um, just curious as to how well you can hear me. If it sounds absolutely horrible and if I'm wasting my time. So at the moment I'm driving out to Long Strand Beach. My absolutely favorite, well, second favorite spot to take photographs in the world and um, looking forward to it. The weather looked shocking when I left the house. Just driving over along here now, just about to climb up along the hill and turn off left for Onahincha Beach. Nice bit of colour and texture starting to pop into the clouds. So I'm really, really hopeful that this is going to turn out reasonably okay today. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, just heading over along the road here now. Um, driving along a few twists and turns here to get to Onahincha itself. Anyone who doesn't know Onahincha Beach is really missing out. I, I think it is one of one of the best beaches in West Cork for landscape photography and seascape photography specifically because there's such a massive variety. And uh, I'm just looking out along there now and that looks really good there though at the moment. Um, it's a lot more positive than I thought it was going to be because it would appear the horizon is actually clear. I couldn't see that from where I was, but again, it just goes to show it really does pay to take the chance. So we're just about to find out the moment of truth. Has it actually been worth my while driving out? Or is this a complete waste of time? Yeah, that looks positive. That looks really positive. I'm, yeah, I, this could, this could work out really, really well as a bit. Just climbing up the hill here now, um, leaving on Hincha Beach. We're just coming up to the lookout point as we call it which is an absolutely stunning view between Onahincha and Longstrand Beach. You can take in the whole peninsula here as such. You have Galley Head on one side and you're heading way off of West Long towards Skull and whatnot on the other side. And dear God, I'm just gonna pull in here now for a second because you need to see this. Look at that. Wow. Look at that light. No, I really wanna stop and take a photograph here, but uh, I think if I do, I'm going to miss the best of it. Uh, I'm going to chance it. I'm going to chance it. I'm going to pull in here super fast. I'm going to take a quick shot and I'm going to move on then. So, I'm gone for two seconds. Absolutely glorious light. Completely the wrong lens on the camera. It was always going to be cropped into a panoramic format, either a two or three by one image. But wow, really, really beautiful light. Absolutely kicking myself I had the wrong lens, but that's the way it goes. You've got to cap the image, capture the image that's in front of you. And as I say in the text, I still haven't decided on the crop of this image. Something I'm going to sit in for a while and see how it goes. And we're back. Uh, that was a really fast shot. Completely the wrong lens on the camera. I'm shooting with a 14 to 30 f4 with me today. It's the only lens I brought with me today because I had a specific idea of what I wanted to capture today. <laughs> and stupidly, I took every other lens out of the camera. Two seconds, just gonna pop on my safety belt. Ah, uh, absolutely kicking myself right now. Absolutely kicking myself. Made an absolute pig's ear of that. Uh, no, have I got my timing right for the sea? No, I haven't. I have the wrong time, I would think, because I'm looking out further east along, along the beach, 
uh, there was two lovely massive big chunks of um, peat on the beach and they appear to be gone are they? Oh no they're still there but the tide is not coming up to them so um, I think I'm wasting my time but again as I say I'm gonna try I'm gonna go over I have a specific idea of a shot I have in mind something I normally don't do but today is going to be an exception today is going to be the day and it all works out and I'm looking at it really positively as we go down lower here now and turn off to the right there is wait for it there's a pull-in area here you can just pull in and walk across the dunes rather than walking like a kilometer and a half down along the beach we can literally just hop over along here walk over along the dunes and get to the spot super fast so just got to pull in here and hopefully we'll get to exactly the right spot and the weather is going to be good and there's going to be a nice sunset so fingers crossed peoples let's find out so as you can see i had the beach completely to myself absolutely stunning spot you see the sun straight out long getting ready to set off to the left of frame here coming into the center is galley head peninsula and galley head lighthouse and it's just a stunning location really and truly is and here's my camera and i'm currently shooting with the nikon z7 mark ii 14 to 30 f4 lens the firecrest filter holder and a four stop firecrest ultra graduated filter sun is setting Oh, let's just have a quick look at that again. There we go. Really happy with that. Not perfect, but that's a blooming good start. That's a good start. So it's after starting really positively, exactly what I was looking for here for was the contrast between the black peat and the white water flowing over. And I was already off to a good start. Um, the light is, the light is fading. I don't know if you can still hear me now or not. Um, so I'm just going to pause this here now again for a while and wait for another wave. Alright, just starting recording here now again because there's a good wave in the background there. I think it's two waves. Is it? Ah, died off. That was looking so promising. Light is starting to... Light is starting to go now too as well. Still waiting here patiently. This might just make it. Would you believe it? My camera locked out. My fucking camera locked out. I'm just gonna click on play here again and just go back. Did it take the. Ah. Missed the first shot. Missed the best shot. Bloody hell. Gonna wait here now for another minute. There should be more light coming along here now very soon. Uh, a few big waves coming. Gonna put the check the front of the lens. All oh, good. Quick look. All right, that looks good. Oh no, here we go. Come on now, come on now, you know you want to. Ah, sad you. The light is going, the light is going and the rain is coming. 
it's not. The light is going and the rain is coming. Sad it anyway. Camera froze. I don't know what happened. Um, not happy. Really not happy. Uh, let's see what happens here now. So, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but there was just a massive wave came in. <laughs> and I got one shot, nearly got absolutely thrown. One shot, two shots, and three shots. So, the light is gone. Um, there could be could be another wave coming here now, because there's a, there's a fine big wave building in the background. Uh, let's see what happens. No, died off again, did it? Is it coming? No, it's not. It's just barely, just barely making it. Uh, so what I really wanted was, I wanted a wave just to crash down over the front here. So you get the lovely dripping of the water going down along, the water flowing over the top, and then just the line sucking it straight out to sea with the nice light behind. But um, the nice light is gone now, as you can see. It's, uh, it's just blur. Uh, it was worth a try, it's what it was, so to nothing ventured, nothing gained. Um, timing was just off. Just the tide the tide isn't in quite far enough at the moment, so um oh wait. There is There's another two big waves coming there now. I don't know if you can see them now or not. That one isn't going to make it, but what about the one behind? No, is it? No. So these are the shots I came away with. The first one is a completely opportunistic shot. Just really lucky at the right place at the right time. This one worked out quite well, but not as well as I was hoping for. That was when the big wave came in and went completely over. It's nice, but again, not what I was looking for. The rest of the shots are all, yeah, look, you know, you either like them or you don't. I don't like any of them, personally speaking. The photograph I wanted, I missed. Uh, it wasn't my fault. It My camera completely locked out for some stupid reason. Something's never happened to digital SLR. And uh, oh, the last few shots here too as well actually took just as the sun had gone down. I popped it into portrait because I was looking for something different. I tried different heights and uh, these were all shot at 14mm again with the Firecrest four stop grade. And yeah it was just basically a matter of experimenting i wanted to come away with something that i was reasonably happy with and i think the last one this one is the shot i like most out of the day purely because of the way the wave goes back after hitting the peat the big lump of peat so um it's something you have to look for and something you have to see and yeah i just think it worked uh, other than that lesson learned um I don't know what the lesson learned was, really being honest. <laughs> lesson learned, I'll never trust modern technology. Uh, look, that's it for another week, guys. Um, I'm really sorry about the audio quality, the video quality, the whole production quality was shocking, being honest. With you. It's something I'm going to step up completely for the next future weeks. And um, look, if there is a photograph out of all those you like, please let me know. And if you have any idea on the cropping, of that sunset shot to a certain extent the one from the lookout let me know too as well and um yeah other than that look um see you out there guys and have a good one